everyone welcome back to my channel i've been missing in action for a while and i'm going to come back starting something fresh and new not necessarily something new but something i'm hoping that will make this consistent i love to budget uh, i love to cash buzz budget um i have cash envelopes i have sinking funds um but the hard part is having to film this and then also edit. So what I personally seen, um, I think her name is the mom life. She also budgets and um, have a lot of sinking funds and saving challenges. So please go and follow her if you want to see all of that. Um, she's just she's up there in the savings. I'm nowhere near that. I'm hoping to get there soon. But um, I seen that she doesn't edit her videos. She just lets it go. And I'm ass assuming and hoping that it works for me as well is that it helps just um, move things along and you don't have to get stuck into editing or anything. So I just want to be able to do it straight through and um, no edits or very minimal edits and so I can upload it um, as quickly as possible. So today we are um, stuffing, well, this is like what my bill envelopes. Um, yeah, the n normal bills that I have to pay monthly. And then in the next video, you'll see me unstuff, well, not necessarily unstuff, but restuffing my sinking funds because I want to add some, I want to spread some um, of my original sinking funds around to other ones. So stay tuned for that video. So sorry, I'm going to have to uh, reorganize this, but, um, and ignore the table, please. <laughs> I have a child and this is our work service, our, our um, coloring surface, our homework surface. So ignore that. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully this does really well. I think this needs to be here. Um, and I can just upload like I want to. I am always trying to film something and then I film them and then they sit um, on my phone because I... Uh, um, I film on my phone and they just sit there because I have no, I missed, yeah, there we go. I have no urgency or no wants to edit most of days. There's days where I want to and then there's days where I have way too much stuff to do and then by the time I'm done, I don't want to do anything else. And that could just be me being super lazy, but if y'all can relate, let me know in the comments below. So we're just going to do bills. Um, that is due. I believe what I'm stuffing is $742. I believe that's what this is. Um, I have a little cheat sheet on the side of what I'm adding to each category. And um, <clears throat> let me explain. So the way that I stuff my envelopes, because I get paid um, every two weeks, not every two weeks, two times a month, um, I split my bills in half. So the first paycheck covers, so I'm technically, how can I explain? I'm technically half a month ahead of what I'm already needing especially by when the bill is due. So some of them will be already stuffed and then some, most of them won't, but I'm technically a month ahead of when the bill is due. So for example, rent and utilities, because it is the, what is today? The 5th of September is when I was a, I'm able to record this. Um, so because it's the 5th, rent and utilities was due on the 1st of September. So my last paycheck of August, I stuffed half of my envelopes. And then I keep 
the rent and utilities portion in my bank account on the first and I just take out the money from the envelope and add it into the bank to pay rent and utilities. If that makes sense, while I go through this, you'll understand. So because of that purpose, rent and utilities has already been taken care of. Let me get my other envelope. I allow a hundred and oh, sorry, I'm kicking things. I allow hundred and fifty dollars for food, but for the most part, when I go and get the denominations from the bank, I already stuff the food envelope because for the most part, we probably need food or we go out and eat. So I put that already in here. So we're not even gonna worry about food. Gas, I give myself uh, forty five dollars, so that's twenty forty. And this typically lasts me the two weeks I might go over a little bit but that's depending on if I'm driving crazy or also I live in California so if it spikes I might need more um, PG&E I allow $50 and then I have car insurance in here and right now I have, let's see, one, two, four, six, eight, 180 in it. I pay, I paid my car insurance um, in full. It's due for renewal in October. I believe it's October. Um, and I'm just like, I just put a little bit of extra money in here to you know keep me up to date with being able to pay that because i haven't been paying it um for a while so my goal is to kind of like stuff this and hope that i'm able to pay it in full again for the next six months but if not at least i have the first payment um on hand so comcast is due on the 15th but I'm half of it is $36. So 20, 30, five, six. And then the other half will be on the second paycheck because I get paid on the 15th. Um, I only pay for internet, so that's why it's so small. Next is phone, and that's $75 this paycheck. 50, 70, Five. Uh, renter's insurance, ten dollars for this paycheck. Car note is two hundred and sixty-five. That's two hundred fifty sixty. One more time, it's one, two, fifty, sixty-five, two hundred and sixty-five dollars in car note this pay period. Netflix is nine dollars, so five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> Sorry, let's do it again. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, iCloud, I pay extra, so it's $5 for the cloud this pay period. Um, Amazon already has this half because Amazon is due, when is Amazon due? The 13th, so before the second pay period. So the second half of August is in here. And then I will complete it right now with $7, so five, six, Seven. Five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And that is for my Amazon Prime account. So when the bill is came come around, I will just go ahead and take this money and put it into my bank account and pay that. Disney Plus, um, half of it this period is three, 
50, but I'll leave the 50 cents in the bank account and just stuff $3. And then um, health is originally super high, but there was an act going around that passed for California and I qualified somehow. And right now it's only a dollar. Um, there is... I have, I don't have an envelope. I need to make an envelope. I will just use my, the telco envelope. And um, there's a loan that I have through my bank and it's called the score up loan. And it basically, you pick an amount of money you want to save and they treat it almost like a loan, but there's no interest and you pay monthly on time with it. And they report it to, the credit bureau so that you can have a positive history of paying payment on time and then at the end of the loan you will have this money saved so I chose to save a thousand dollars over a course of a year and um, they will report it to the bureau and by the end of it I will have a thousand dollars saved in a savings account so I don't split that in half. I just pay it for with the first paycheck and um, that is $86. So 50, 70, 80, five, six. I need to make an envelope for it. So this will go directly to the bank and I will go ahead and pay for that loan there. Um, so, Next paycheck on the 15th, we will stuff the other half of these. And that's when you'll probably see these completely full. Um, stay tuned for the next video, which will be... I'm grabbing something. Will be my sinking funds. And I have money already in here, but I wanted to add more envelopes. And... Um, move stuff around um some things are not the same like the emergency is not that anymore um i just want to add some stuff um i recently had to get a newer vehicle um so the maintenance on it i don't really need and so i, I want to just split this up and not have that much in it and go from there um so stay tuned for me restuffing this and adding more i guess I'm deba debating on if I sh should make another video, if I'm restuffing this and then that's it. And then another video of stuffing like a smaller amount. We'll see. But thank you for watching. Um, hope you enjoy the content. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please let me know if um, I'm doing something completely wrong or not even just doing anything wrong. Just send some love. Um, your girl is struggling over here, but we're getting through it. We're getting through it. And um, I hope everybody has a wonderful and safe day. And we'll see you next time. Bye.